Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. All fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. You save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! On your right! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What the hell? Ain't it just like old times here? Just put it more forebodingly myself. Watch your right. Throw it all you like. Drop there, old mate.
Careful, sir! what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in gear! Great sight incoming! Get the dang dead! Find you! Incoming! Better take out that net or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Stop puckering around and smash that thing before more things come out! See there? Setting off a spear in anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right. <laughs> the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <laughs> Them eyeballs are taking over the ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> You don't stop what it takes. You want some of this? Then come get it, Next lesson? Take note of that there, watch 
you, Mahoos. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. Good! Guess you get extra credit. scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosk or whenever you're ready. Ah, that's blocked. Look out the wall! Bit late for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you. We can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. <laughs> These ugly bugs. Maybe those Grim will take him down. Uh, nope. You think I can't class nasty just because I make weapons, huh? Ah. Bring it! Ah. Brother, that Grim's found a pass on high! I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go?
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find. Two auspicious a day to end it working and working. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. 
I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Oh! 
Kratos, I see something. It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars. Find a wife. Aye, for glory. But he rejected it. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. 
I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker gravestone. Old. Prepare for a fight. After the field of Kallus! For the king! <laughs> <laughs> Big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Einherjar's attention? 
The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Are you all right? Not the first time I've had an Aesir threaten my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. 